Hello YouTube, what's up? This is the music guide. Today we're back with another tutorial uh, on automation. How to make automation. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to be talking about uh, four uh, kinds of uh, automation. Automation clips, um, events, node properties in the piano roll, and side chaining. Okay, so let's start with... Uh, automation clips here um, automation clips are basically um, uh, clips inside inside uh, uh, is inside uh, FL studio uh, playlist that don't don't necessarily don't, don't produce any sound they just automate the uh, uh, parameters uh, of of your project inside your project for example in this in this case I have I have this um, uh, this uh, automation here go going automating the filter cut off filter cut off of this chords that I'm playing here now you can see the the filter the, uh, as the song progresses the filter is opening opening up uh, based on this uh, automation clip so here's how you make make a new one I'll just mute this one and make a new one um, go to your um, mixer mixer track uh, and then go uh, for example uh, you have go to go to your filter open this filter uh, or not necessarily this filter any you can you can you can automate any parameter inside FL studio in this case I'm just going to automate this uh, filter cutoff frequency knob okay so I'll just right click on this knob and click create All right, as easy as that so as you can see a new automation clip has been created and uh, and inserted into, into the playlist so now you, we can adjust we can adjust this uh, points this nodes um, the way we like it, the way we like to automate the the parameter. So I just want to open it up like like this. I just want to open the filter to open up uh, in this manner. Okay, so it's working. We can we can, we can play it right now. If you go very low, it sounds like this. So um, this is how you make automation, automation clips. Um, uh, this this method works. Uh, this method works for uh, native plug native uh, FL Studio native uh, parameters like any anything um, any parameters inside FL Studio's FL Studio plugins. So yeah, for example, if you want um, if you want to um, automate a parameter inside a VST, a third-party VST, uh, here's how you do this. Um, in this case, I have a I have a Nexus channel. For example, I want to automate the um, volume this volume knob inside Nexus I want to, I want to, uh, I want to automate this so first off you want you need to tweak it tweak it first then go to this uh, tools tab uh, sorry if you can't see this uh, OBS is not capturing this you go to this tools tab go to the last tweaked <coughs> last tweak last I'm sorry last tweak then go to then click on create automation clip okay so now um, we have we have created a new automation clip for for this uh, nexus volume now we can now play with it as like this
very very easy all right number two events um events uh, events are like event, uh, events are like mini uh, mini automation clips inside your patterns um what i what do i mean so this automation clips uh, automation clips are are being are are placed inside your playlist okay uh, however uh, events are inside or inside your patterns are placed inside your patterns um, they're very short they're they're not, not really short they're they're inside your patterns automating your whatever you want to whatever parameter you want to um, uh, automate so I'll show you show you what I mean for example in this uh, in this pattern over here I want to automate um, the volume the volume I will delete the, okay uh, I, will, I want to volume I want to automate the volume of this Nexus channel Nexus channel here okay I'll click on the volume channel on the volume knob here then click oh, it's already click, sorry uh, open up the open up first you need to open up the um, piano roll then click on this uh, volume knob and click edit events in piano roll now it open now it opens up the events section in the piano roll now you can adjust you can draw your automation pattern whatever whatever you like like that this is actually a very easy and fast way of adding automation inside your in, inside your patterns so you don't you don't have to create a long ass um, automation clip and and uh, you know make a mess inside your playlist and clutter uh, clutter your playlist so it's this is very easy very and very neat you're not making any mess inside your you're, you're very organized by using this okay yeah this is how you make it best third note parameters okay here's what I mean so note parameters are um, are like are similar to events uh, they're inside your your automating node properties inside your pattern. Uh, I'll show you an example. Okay, for for example, you want um, uh, here inside not not here. Mm, I have a I have a, um, a snare roll going on here. I have a snare roll inside the inside my uh, inside the track inside this uh, project sounds like this okay what 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 I want uh, I want to I want to pitch up the snare as it's um, as it as it's getting closer to the to the hit so I, I want I want the snare to pitch up okay here's how you do it uh, Go to this uh, like this. Go to the pattern. Go to the pattern pattern that uh, you uh, the that the um, snare roll is in. Then open up uh, open up the piano roll. Okay. Then here you may okay some you may not have this. You it it may it may be looking like this uh, on your end. Just drag this. Click this. Um, click. Click this and drag it up to view to view this um, uh, events or events or note properties section. Then make sure make sure your uh, okay you you, um, you want to automate the pitch right. So go to this control tab control menu then select uh, note fine pitch okay. Let me reset this, and I'll do this again. By the way, you can hold Alt and click; it will re it will reset the pitch. Okay, so again, go to Control and Note Find Pitch. Okay, so now you can see the pitch information of the, your notes. Now you want this pitch to go up. 
you just draw your your automation like this and it will follow now it, if you play it will follow the automation it's going up without automation it sounds like this Now you, uh, I hope you, understand, you you got what I mean. Okay, aside aside from note pitch, uh, you can also there there are a few parameters you can note properties that you can automate like this. Uh, note panning, note panning, note velocity, note release, note uh, filter cutoff frequency, note filter resonance, and note fine pitch. Okay, so we have covered the fine pitch now. Uh, another good example is note pan okay so I, I have a pre I've, I've prepared a hat hat loop section uh, it's a very good instance uh, where we can use um, note panning uh, so here's how it sounds like without 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 uh, any note panning Now, if you want to, uh, if you want to um, pan the pan left and pan left and right, then uh, hi hats. So we get a get a feel that it's uh, the hats is moving moving around uh, the stereo field. You go to this control menu, then go to the note pan. Then we can draw our automation like this. All right, it's very very simple. Or make it like this. No, oh, no. Make it faster, so you get uh, you get an idea what what I mean. So now it sounds like this. So moving from left to right like this so it's very, very you can easily create that uh, moving around stereo field effect okay so this is about node properties uh, lastly we're going to be talking about side chaining all right that's it that's it for now um, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something thumbs up give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos all right thanks thank you very much for watching see you on my next video